Hey guys, sorry I'm late um, with the little thingy. I've had a really busy day. Um, we went and got some stuff uh, for the house. I got my kids back a little more. Their stomach slowly trying to get their stuff back. You know, the fire kind of destroyed some of the stuff they got to keep. And I'm going to go ahead and just give it back to them. You know, I went and got it back to them. My face is getting skinny. What? I didn't even notice it. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, yeah. And it's kind of like, went and get that. Went and got groceries. I went with my dad. Um, and, uh, what else? Oh, I'm trying to call the agent. I can't get a hold of her. But I'm going to try to call her. Um, last time I called her, she didn't know who I was. And she was kind of like irked until she realized who I was. And then she was nice or whatever. Um, I haven't, I sent a picture of my nephew other than that. I haven't really talked to her since because, um, but, um, anyway, so I'm trying to go ahead and get, pay her, but I didn't, I didn't text her earlier, which is her business hours. And I probably should have, but I didn't. So anyway, we, <coughs> <laughs> That's the asthma cough. Okay. You gotta say that shit around her. Anyway, so I um kind of you know been doing that. I also had like a crazy day. Uh, <laughs> okay. I asked some people do they want to go on a skiing trip? <laughs> Nobody wants to go on a skiing trip. My friend is like, I'm cool on that. Um, that's just, I just laughing because it's funny. Anyway, so, um, what else? Um, that's pretty much it. Kind of a, it was a cool day. I didn't record anything. Oh, oh my God. I was inside Walmart forever. None of my cards would work. Um, to be honest with you, this man was trying to rob me, so I kept declining the, the, the card transaction on purpose. I kept acting like I couldn't get the money because I knew he was trying to steal it. I wanted the products, because, but I didn't want to buy it from him. I wanted someone else to take over, and they noticed what he was doing because they was rolling their eyes at him, and this girl started crying. Like, it was just crazy. It was a mess today, and this was a really old man, so you know I don't know how to be mean to old people, so the motherfucker was punking the shit out of me until I just fed, got fed up with it. And was all like, hey, chill it, cut it, chill it, cut it, okay? Because this man was saying some rude shit, calling me stupid, um, telling me to shut up, all kinds of stuff. Calling me crazy, like trying to piss me off or to make it where I don't notice what he was doing. He rung up my stuff and rung it all the way up to 800 or something dollars. Mind you, let's make this clear. Um, my um, ex-husband gives me... $800 a month okay that's all I get is $800 a month or whatever and um, a couple of old military and stuff like that they know that and I don't know what he's into or what he had happened I don't know the spill but I know that everywhere I go that someone is wanting me to give them my money or asking me to help them Mind you, I slept in a car for almost a month. Um, mind you, I wasted almost every dime I had at hotels because I didn't want my kids sleeping in the car. I tried to save my money, but, you know, and sleep in the car, but it didn't work, work out like that sometimes because my kids just, they didn't like it. They rather sleep in a hotel. They rather waste the money. And so I did what made, whatever I do, I'm the type of mom that does what's best for my kids at the end of the day. I'm going to do what's best for mine. You know, we've been through some stuff, but some of that stuff was out of my hand, not in my control. And we moved on from that. Like, well, I'm tired of people seeing us and seeing our past, and we don't see our past anymore. We see future. We see happiness. We see blessings. You know, we, we see new goals. We see new niggas, you know. <laughs> We see trips, okay? We see better jobs. We see degrees. We see licenses. We see all kinds of shit that's not the same 
is what every, everyone else sees us and they see a past. We are move, We don't want people to look at us and see that. We want people to see how happy we are. You know, how um, goofy. Because me and my kids is funny in a motherfucker. And I know we are. Because be, I laugh at them all day. You know, I want we want people to see the, the good in us. Like, don't look at us and see that bad and cry and feel sad. Be happy. Look at us and say, dang, she healed. Dang, they're doing good. Dang, I, let, me, let me pray for them. You know, let me feel, let me feel that joy. Let me feel that blessing that they have on them. That's what we want. We don't want that sad stuff, you know. We don't want it. That's not what we want. We don't want you walking around here feeling sad for us. Like, no, we want you to walk around here and be like, hey, girl, you know, speak, smile, be happy. Don't be sad and mean and make us feel down and tired. Because I'm be honest with you, I get drained when I'm around a negative thing. It, it tears me down. When I'm around somebody that I know does not really care about me and that just is out for their self, I just get really tired. I feel really weak, you know, uh, around them. Like, I, I just, I kind of like feel the energy and I just feel tired. I'm angry. I just get angry out of nowhere. And I'm just like, I'm like, ugh, just, you know, want to go home. And I don't, I don't like that. Like, I like feeling what I am and what I am is free. I'm free. I'm free to move on. I'm free to have a different life. I'm free to have better. And that's what I want to feel. I don't want to feel no one's pity. I don't want to feel no one's hate. I don't want to feel none of that. Okay. I want to feel peace. I want to feel joy. I want to feel love. I want to feel blessings. Like that's what I want. I want that. You know, I don't want anything negative around me anymore. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take anything negative. I just can't. And I don't want it around me no more. I don't want no one to see me and think, oh, poor girl. No, I want you to see me and be like, oh, she, she, she's doing good. She's happy. She's moving on. You know, she's, she's blessed because I'm blessed. I am very blessed. Like, I have crazy things that happen, but for some reason, God picks it up. He fixes it. He throws that other shit away. I'm blessed. You get what I'm saying? And so, I want people to see that, a blessing. I don't want people to see no hatred, no evil. And, you know, I can't speak on, like, other people because sometimes, here lately, I'm, I'm a whole ass fucking mess, too. You know, I'm out here, like, sometimes just mean, negative, um rude some you know and it's just like i'm very proud of myself though because the situation was horrible today and i handled that shit like a boss i feel like i did i was just smiling still putting, like whatever i was even still helping this man who was being rude to me you know we eating late sorry guys but um they said they didn't want nothing to eat and then you know they turn around and switch it up on me like always and so <laughs> They was like, we don't want that. We're not hungry. We already ate good enough. And the next, you know, psh, mama, we want, we, we, are you going to fix this? this you know, so. Kids, y'all. Kids. My kids still don't learn how to clean up after they stuff. I still clean up after my kids. I still do I everything. I'm going to get them. I'm going to get frog. A frog. Yeah. My pets are like they cheat. Okay. Can I get one? Yeah, sure. But her, where's Sissy? Here, here. Tell her to come in. And so, um. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm proud of myself. Like, I was still laughing and talking. Still went to another store laughing and talking. Still talking to my father who took me. Um, just, you know, I, I'm, I've i been home with my kids, helping my son, sitting there reading with him. Because he's been telling me he's been doing his assignments. And he has not turned them in, honey. He's doing Are half of them. No, because uh, the milk. I got to get some milk. Get some that. No, that's what you say you want it. Right. Anyway, so, yeah. Oh, I forgot milk, girl. I forgot water. It's okay. I'm gonna get some. But um, yeah. So that's just what I've been going. You know, I've been going through. It's just a lot. And then also, another thing is, I live by a whole bunch of um Hispanics. I'm not gonna say Mexican with them because I don't like saying just, you know, I'm, they're Hispanics because I don't know where all I'm from. You know, and all of them might not be from the same place. I live by a lot of them. I deal with a lot of. Uh -huh. I do a lot of Zyla, come get these craziness. Like 
at night, sometimes I have some crazy shit that be happening. Like people be trying to get in my house, knocking on my door, um, trying to ask me, can they come in? Like, no, I don't know you. You can't come in my house. Um, I can't help you. Sorry. And it's not like I wanted to, when I first moved over here, I was trying to help my neighbor, you know, and then until he kept coming in my house when I wasn't here, um, to his wife come in and stole some of my food and shit. And now I don't want nothing to do with them because I don't do thieves. I hate a motherfucker that steal from me. Like, once you steal from me, I'm done with you. Only people that I forgive are family. And you're not family. <laughs> so, fuck you. Okay? And not saying I wish bad on them or anything because I don't, you know. But I just don't want them in my circle. I don't want to fuck with them. I don't want them in my home. That's just that, you know. I'm not the type of person to sit around wishing bad on nobody unless they really, really do some hateful stuff. Other than that, I just don't want them in my home. I just, you know, I just want to move on. That's it. Just want to move on. But anyway, so, so yeah, so they went too bad. Kind of really a blessing. It's, it's a good day. Other than the stuff, you know, other than people trying to make it bad for me, it wasn't. It wasn't. They tried. It didn't work. I didn't get to do all my home workout. But as you can see, I am losing some weight. Yes. Okay, I got to lose a little more. I am on my Kato stuff. I got a whole bunch of stuff for Kato. So, and my kids pretty much eat whatever I cook. Well, not really. They really don't eat it. But, you know, my daughter is like, she picky as hell. She might, like, right now she won't eat. Yeah. That's just, that's her. Okay. That's her. But anyway, so, um, but if I cook it and I cook it a certain way, they'll eat it with me. So, yeah, but I also got them, like, their own little stuff, too. So, some of my stuff that's, like, too healthy that I know they won't eat, I cook them something else. Go get this to Sissy. No, that's enough. You had to do. Can I get French fries, you? No. Bye. Can you get a what? Dressing for my thing. Dressing? Oh, okay. Okay. But, um, not, don't, on the floor. Or at this table. See, they won't come to the table. I got to bring the table. They won't even come in here and eat it. But you get what I'm saying? So, with all that being said, it's not all bad for us. It's, it was a good day. Sorry, my husband. Oh, guys, I had an um, interview for a, what do I call it? Mm. Okay, I had an interview to go be a, um, like an extra. Okay, extra in the movie. Claws, I mean claws. I didn't do all my stuff because I don't have headshots. I don't have this. I'm not. I don't have anything professional. And so, and I also don't want to really do that. I kind of want to just work with the talent agent. Like I want to work with them. You know, I want to be a part of that. I don't. I don't want to be in the cameras. I want to be behind the scenes, like the type of person. That's the kind of shit I like. But anyway, so. Yeah. That doesn't look like it's going to happen because um, the girl said I had to have a degree in communications or have my degree. I don't have my degree yet, so I don't have a degree in communications and I don't have my degree yet, so I'm going to keep going. I want to make my own shit. I really do. I really do. Anyway, so I'm still waiting on Alana. I'm probably going to call her back. That's the girl that, that's the lady that my kids work with because I want to get it done now before I wait too long and I don't get to do it, you know. So, anyway, I went and got my son's video game back because he has not been on his game. He has not got to talk to his friends and he is like, he's been really sad about it. Like, sorry, I'm cut off the lights. It's nighttime. I'm about to go sit down and do some homework. I should have been in half this homework then I'll be BSing and then I'ma cry because I'll be BSing if I get a bad grade. But anyway, so other than that, um yeah, I'm just, it's been kind of good. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. People don't like when my ex-husband gives me money. They like take it personal because some of the stuff that went on in our marriage. But I was his wife and I was a stay-at-home wife, and that's the only way I'm gonna really get on my feet. And he doesn't really have a choice. And I don't really care how y'all feel about that. It's just something that keeps food on my kid's mouth. And you're just mad because he's not giving it to you. 
facts. So I really don't care. So leave me alone about that too, okay? And I think that's why that old man did that. Like he was trying to get me to give the money to other people because I think they take his stuff. And um, I'm not him. I'm, I'll box up on your ass real quick. Like, did you just touch that? Uh, did you steal from me? Oh, you stole from me? Okay, you're going to jail. Like that's that's what I want to do. Okay, that's me. I don't fuss and fight with nobody. No, I'm not fuss to fight you. Uh uh, I have a degree. I'm getting my degree. I will not fight a bitch. Cause at first I wanted to fight everybody. Then I had to think. That's dumb. Okay, that's dumb. I did cut out this minute, so I like, get your ass away from me. And get the fuck on. Because he kept harassing me. And it was like acting like he was gonna like run up on me, my kids. I told him, You come over here, I'm gonna kick your ass. Like, you know, get away. I'm really. Now, I'm not gonna lie. If you touch us, I have to fight you. But that's self defense. Okay? That's self defense. Period. But anyway, so. But I think they did it on purpose because I was on the phone. And that's what they do. It's like. If I'm around someone, and I'm or like, if I'm with somebody who's coming, because I don't, my car's not working. So if I'm with somebody who's coming to get me to take me somewhere, they will do anything to make me look negative and rude. This is why I should have never fucking came back here. Or sometimes, sometimes I think like, why the fuck did I come back here? Then other times I'm like, I'm glad I came home. You know, it's like a lot of like, ugh, people I never met before, like dusty, old, dirty, you know, people. And God forgive me for judging because, hey, I like I said, I slept in my fucking car. But it's a lot of people like that that harass me. And I'm like, I am not going to help you. You can't get a dollar from me. Let it go. Move. Go away. Kick. Scoop. Get out of here. <laughs> You're not getting nothing. You can't have two cents. Leave me alone. I don't know what you was thinking. I don't know who told you what. what but you if you doing? touch my money, I'm either going to fuck you up or send you to jail. What are you doing? Talkie's on YouTube. <laughs> but other than that, I'm not going to help you. Leave, leave us when we're walking around here if you leave me alone okay i don't got no money to share i'm getting off my feet i'm a mother i'm a single mom okay i'm getting off my feet i'm i mean i'm getting on my feet i got a long way to go i have a long way to go i don't have time for craziness i don't did y'all see zion's hair come here zion i don't know if i showed him your hair Nobody ever watches. They watch my YouTube, but they, they say they don't. But everybody knows what I put on it. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, so I want to re die, but he won't let me die no more. He said, get out of that. He said, go. Go get go get back on that assignment. Go. Thank you. He said that he... um. I wouldn't die again. Yeah. I mean, no. no. He likes the color. He real bad. He was trying to call my mom. My stuff. The kid is bad. But anyway, so um, so yeah, so just with that, that's the only thing that kind of like ruins my day. Like it, well, they try to ruin my day, but they don't, cause you know life goes on. But um, anyway, so cause and not every store is like that, and not everywhere I go is like that. I went into the store to get my son's game, and they are in there decorating for Halloween. They have me laughing and giggling, you know. It's not everybody's not like that. The other lady that was in the same store as this old man was totally different. So nice, you know. We was laughing, talking. It's every day. Every day is something different. Oh my god, I missed a webinar. Okay, I'm trying to watch these webinars on his travel stuff. I've been trying to log into everything they do because um, I'm trying to see if I could take a skiing trip. Nobody wants to go, so maybe I need to go somewhere else. I don't know. But, um, so yeah, but I want to take a trip for Christmas. It doesn't look like anyone wants to go. Me and my kids might just be going by ourselves, and that's okay because we are used to doing everything by ourselves anyway. It's been years and it's just been us and we've had lots, lots, lots of fun. So anyway, guys, have a beautiful, blessed day. Please tune in. Please share, like, subscribe. Also, send, um, go to Beautifully Crowned Hair 
order you some stuff. I'm going to put some new inventory up. I have to learn to schedule my day properly because it is all out of whack. I'm going to have to start getting up earlier. I'm going to sleep at a better time, getting more rest to get my day started, okay? I finally got a planner, so I've been writing down, like, trying to get it planned out because I'm, I'm going to have to do something different because this is not working. I haven't got to promote my hair business. I haven't got to promote my traveling business. I haven't got to research my traveling business. I haven't got to do my homework. All due to homeschooling. Yeah. So I haven't got to do anything because the homeschooling sucks. It takes up all your time. Like, come on, we don't get paid for this. They could get paid for this. But so I haven't got to do anything because of homeschooling. So um i'm going to tomorrow i'm praying that i get to get up do my everything i need to do and then you know start my day like i need to do my full workout i was gonna do something tonight but i'm not i'm just gonna go straight in there make sure he's finished with the rest of his work and then go straight to my um school work um look up some travel stuff watch some videos on travel videos i also like candles and i'm thinking about making some candles just for fun with my kids we still haven't got our stuff to decorate our sign we still haven't got it so yeah anyway so um what i and oh i have another business adventure and i'm really scared to do it but it's a boss ass move so i'm kind of like you need to do that mm -hmm. you need to do that because it's real bossy but the thing is about it is that my name is so down the ground like anywhere I go like my name is just tore to pieces like it's just horrible and so it's good I'm kind of nervous to like do it you know it's a really smart idea but I'm kind of like mm, should I do this or not you know uh, I think I'm gonna do it though I think I am um, also for my birthday I want to do like a um, paint sip like make your own paint sip and I want to do it, but I don't want to, like, I've had some good-ass parties. Like, I had one of my friends' uh, family members make cakes and stuff like that. And, you know, like, the little toy parties I had where everyone came, like, plus I had lingerie, dressed up and stuff, came to the People don't show up. And I put some money into my parties, okay? And I don't want to put a money into my party and no one comes and I waste my money. And new people, I'm meeting new people, but they're not here. And so I need to start meeting new people here. I need to start making friends here. You know? I'm still going to do the green room, the green screen. I'm still going to do all that shit. Um, yeah, I am. I'm still going to do all of that. But, matter of fact, I need to go order this shit. I think I'm going to go order it now. But anyway, other than that, like, basically my house is coming a little bit more together. I need to get some tables. I see some tables that I want to, um... Actually, it's at Walmart. I'm a cheap ass. So, I sent tables at Walmart, and I was going to get them, and then put, like, I also seen some, like, who is it? Hi. Oh, my neighbor. Oh, guys, my neighbor's here. I'm going to call you guys back. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace out. My neighbor's here.